Peggy 18. Oh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Game of Crones, or more specifically, Graveyard Keeper Game of Crones DLC. Now, I'm currently looking into the yard and trying to see if there is a blueprint for something that can work with the letters. As you can see, I have purchased the bags, which is awesome. But it's so awesome that I do not know how the hell am I supposed to craft these. So I'm kind of trying to look around to find out where in the world am I supposed to make these bags. Should I make them in the kitchen? That would be super weird, right? I mean, it, it makes zero sense for me to get them here. Maybe in the church's cellar. That might be a good choice to look to. So, over the week I have been monitoring the episodes and they have done brilliantly. I would like to thank you all for giving these series the most views overall my channel has seen. One of the episodes has over 200 views. Three episodes have over 100 views, and the average views for the remaining episodes are around 50 something. So thank you all who have decided to stick around with me and to potentially consider even subscribing to the channel. It means a lot to me. Not really sure what the hell are we gonna do once I'm done covering the Game of Crone, but I have few ideas, so who knows, maybe you will be surprised, maybe you can suggest something. Who knows? Okay, so let's take a look. I really want to see if we can make these things. Ah, okay, now we're cooking. So it's all here in the church's workbench. For each of these, you will require the pig skin. You will require either the complex iron parts for the more advanced ones. You will require the steel parts and each one of these will require tanning agent. Now I'm not really sure if I actually mixed the tanning agent. Uh yeah, so it's more possible that what I do is actually go see Clotho and I purchase the tanning agent from her directly. It's actually so much easy, I might be able to still manage to go and show you. Maybe she will remember to open her menu after the last episode. Also, I have noticed that there has been another patch added fixing a couple of things for the game. So currently the game should be sitting at 1.305 version. So you should not be experiencing some bugs. Fortunately for me, I did not experience them during some of these segments, which should have been fixed. So, yeah, but you're gonna have to look into the patch notes on your own. Uh, they were really, really, really straightforward. And where is the tanning agent? And as you can see, she will always be willing to sell you two and tanning agents. One, however, will cost you three silvers and 50 coppers. And by buying two, you are not saving anything. You are actually paying more. God damn it, that, that is quite the ramp up or, or like the hike in the margin she's charging for this. Like, god damn it, lady. We have some rest restoration potions and some other stuff, but we do not need it. So what I want to go and do is take a look at the freaking refugee camp. Because one thing which you don't know is that each of the episodes which I recorded, I know that they had differences in the duration. But the thing is that to each of those episodes you can add an 1 hour or like 40 minutes, which had to be cut out because it, it was just this. J just me waiting for the freaking happiness to reach a certain point. As you can see, we're still gonna get the sword rack, it's just gonna take some time. So I wanted to thank you in the meantime for the amazing support, really do hope you are appreciating the content, it's so much fun to actually make it and publish it for the channel. 
I know that Graveyard Keeper is underappreciated game for some dumb reason. Not really sure why. I mean, when I learned about this game and the fact that you would be actually working to manage a graveyard and potentially selling hamburgers from the corpses to the townsfolk or to the villagers directly, I was immediately hooked. But that was quite a long time ago. I think the game was published in like 2018 and... Uh, yeah, it's it, it's a whole lot of fun, and I was actually really happy to cover it completely here on the channel, even with the Stranger Sense DLC, and now for the Game of Chrome. So I'm super interested to see if there will be any more DLC eventually added to the game, because both the Stranger Sense and both Game of Chrome were released, if I recall correctly, in 2020 or. or was the Stranger since in 2019? Yeah, who cares? We are having fun and that is the most important part of this whole thing. And the cook is really driving me insane because she is just doing the mushroom patties. And I even brought her some butter and some cheese and... Uh, yeah, I think she's just making panna cotta from that and so... That sucks. So I'm not really sure what is my motivation behind making more crops grow here. I might try to put something in here just so that they have some variety of food. But yeah. It's it's really, really weird for them to be constantly eating lentil cutlets. At least I would probably complain about this whole vegan diet that they are trying to run here. Sure, there are some boiled eggs and such, but... Actually, the most amazing thing is how fast do the eggs multiply here, so... This is really awesome, especially since you can only get up to, like, 5 eggs at the village. So I want... What I'm gonna do here is go back to my home. And I'm gonna put those eggs to some good use eventually but I'm gonna let the time pass get to the 12 points of happiness so that we can install the sword rack and so that we can continue with the story so stick around enjoy the show and thank you again for the amazing support it means a whole lot to me and it makes me wonder what the hell is wrong with everyone who decided to stick around so far but Hey, I'm not judging. I'm just happy someone enjoys the content. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so two days later, we finally see the cook has picked up another recipe of mushroom soup. I guess even the refugees were complaining about the mushroom patties and look at this! She even made some silver vegetable patties. But maybe it's later on if you mix the ingredients together? Not really sure but man they are filling in their inventory with way too much food. I'm waiting for them to request the vomitorium to be constructed. And I'm bringing that up because that was actually in the ancient Roman times a room which they had on these fancy dinner parties and because, well, when they were stuffing their faces they did not want it to stop so they went to the room and as you can assume they did throw up they returned back and continued stuffing their face with more food which actually makes the whole point completely wasted because because why do you eat when you throw up and then you eat that that's idiotic but also the ruins are mostly of an ancient type of architecture or ancient rope type of architecture which is why i'm bringing it up but okay let's build the sword rack why would you build the sword rack by the entrance? 
That is the dumbest thing ever, because I just walk from here to here, and if you do not manage to run from the tent to the sword rack, they are out of weapons to protect themselves with. And realize how idiotic this layout is, right? Ooh, this also gives us additional happiness point. Yay, more waiting! I'm so excited! The swords are already perfect. Our people have already mastered their wooden sticks. It's time to practice with swords. As for me, I've studied some books on the art of Siege. will soon be entirely ready. How can I help you anymore? Especially since you are gonna be besieged. The only chance they have of breaking our defense is to attack unexpectedly. But we can eliminate that threat. Are you talking about a viewing tower? Exactly. Build it and Mountain Fort will never be able to touch us. No way. You're really sure because they can throw something over here, the cliff, and climb up the rope. Uh, okay, so what do we need for this tower and how much happiness do I need? Which means how much time will I actually spend meditating because there's not a chance in hell. I'm gonna spend god knows how long doing what. Okay, so we need 13 points of happiness and 12 wooden beams. I do have the flitch here, so you know what, I'll just skip the time, we'll do the stuff with the watchtower. I really do wonder where do they plan on building it. Let's, let's take a guess. First potential point of lookout is here. Because there are only points from the south through which they can enter. I don't think they can enter through here because this has been actually blocked off by large stones. So yeah, it's true, they cannot actually use like ropes with hooks on the end to throw them over the edge and try to climb up. It's not gonna work. So my first suggestion or point of lookout is here and maybe the next one is here if you build the watchtower where i think it might actually be and that's gonna be somewhere around here then that's not gonna provide you with that much protection also you can theoretically build the tower on this point but then you have all these obstructions she is actually making butter. Damn! Okay. Yeah, there, there's, there are some possibilities, but let's just go grab those wooden beams and skip some time and hopefully we're gonna get to those 13 points where I'm gonna be one cranky, cranky content creator. So I'll talk to you in who knows how long. Okay, so I waited approximately around three day and night cycles, maybe even four, but one thing which caught my mind is the fact that we can study the black and gold cloak. So I want to see, wow, we can actually study this. Okay, let's go ahead. And I kind of don't know. Wow, that's a lot of freaking points. Maybe in the post editing, I will try to do the count somehow of how much did I have before, after. Try and tell you how much points you can get for researching this. I am checking the wiki page on a daily basis, but so far I did not see it populate the info for the game of chrome we are finally at the number where we require to be and now i am dying to see where they desert or where they place the observation tower you gotta be kidding me right next to the bees do you want nicholas cage to run into your camp or something 
th this is not the most optimal path choosing because this is kind of blocking the way between the farms and between the animals but whatever and that would be the achievement paradise your viewing tower is so nice did you remark its beauty It's not bad, but I wouldn't call it especially beautiful. It's so much more than a tower. It's a symbol. A symbol of freedom. A symbol of fairness. Yeah, whatever, you weirdo. I think your work here is complete, my friend. Lord Commander doesn't have the power to overcome our defenses. And that is another achievement. You've done so much more than we ever expected of you. Of course, this award which we pitched in together for you, so little on balance with your efforts. I, I have no honest idea what I just received. I did not manage to go through the items with my eyes as I'm trying to read this, but I hope our eternal gratitude will compensate for the difference. Well, gratitude in addition to material things is better than just gratitude. <laughs> Hell yeah! Also, I prepared a speech for such an... Wait! Something's wrong! Marquis! Marquis! Terrible news! What? Tell me! Speak! A huge group of soldiers from town. The whole army just entered Mountain Fort. I don't think five swords will be enough. There's no way we can hold off such an attack. Master Alaric was right. We have to run before it's too late. Are you crazy after I built all this stuff? I hear you, but keep silent for a moment now, please. I don't want everyone to panic. In other words, shut the hell up. I need a little time to think this through. There must be a solution. It can't be the end. It can't. All this, it can't be for nothing. Keeper, do you have any ideas? Machine gun. A mortar. A tank. Armored donkeys. Both of you, leave me here, please. I must think, I must think. There must be a solution. Armored donkeys. Seriously. I doubt he needs my compassion. Better to leave him alone for now. Now this eye, however, am really interested to check out. Okay, so what did we get? What did we get? We did get a recipe for big universal bag. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm not really sure if you can like actually have a full inventory of just these bags. So then you don't have to screw around with food bag, the potion bag, and tool bag, and the uh, the builder's bag because honestly the the builder's bag holds the tools which you lo load into it the tools bag does not so seriously if i just have like a uh, five big universal bags won't that be just the most useful stuff and i'm quite sure there should not be an issue of me just acquiring multiple universal bags or heck if I'm not interested in talking to this lady. She won't even sell me the big bag. Okay, so this actually raises a few questions. We're gonna use the books because honestly at this point I'm not really sure if there will be any of the tech which can be unlocked in any other means. As you can see right now, 
we have all of the bag, the big universal bag is the last thing which you need for it. Anatomy and alchemy, which makes zero sense. I would rather put it like to like smithing or building. In the theology, we are still missing something, no? Ah! They removed it! Okay. They realized that they kind of screwed up there. Good to know, good to know. Anything else? Come on. Didn't show us. No, it looks like that's it. Well, that's unfortunate. But okay. Now I'm really interested to see. Oh. Whoa, whoa, guys. You must be confused. Your Lord Commander let me free. And just ignore that zombie. So it was nice seeing you come by again sometime and so on. But right now, I'm a little busy. We weren't sent by Lord Commander, so shut up and follow us. They're looking at me weird. Something is wrong here. Are you sure I have no choice? You have a choice. You can refuse. And we'll kill you immediately. Incidentally, we can even bury your corpse for an additional fee. Start killing. That's an incredibly attractive off offer, but I'll save my money and come with you. <laughs> Greedy little bastard. Lady Beatrice, I see it's a pleasant surprise, but... Wasn't it you who tried to convince the Lord Commander to incinerate me last time we met? Return to Mountain Fort, my friends. Your work here is done. As for you, Keeper, you can relax. What's the use of bringing you... Bringing up old silly quarrels? I'd like to give you another chance to earn my respect and my friendship and something even more intimate. Like I already told you, I'm not really interested. I have my beloved. <laughs> I've heard that one before, but every time it ends the same way. All males are the same. But as you wish, I can pay you in another coin. I'll rescue your priceless refugees from the Lord Commander's soldiers. The old fool is completely on the hook for me. He defied the king himself if I asked. And what am I supposed to do? Assuming I agree. Nothing special. I need five emulsions of death? Why can't you make these emulsions yourselves? Why do you need these emulsions? Let's see. Black alchemy is difficult to practice in secret. I can't afford to take such a risk. My reputation as an inquisitor must remain absolutely pure for now. See if we can ask the second question. Besides, my preparation of emulsion requires dark brains. Fortunately, the Inquisition has prisoners. They're burned along with their brains. 
Except when helpful. they're killed while they're trying to escape or... Jesus, these pure fugitives! Do you really need them just for dark brains? And not everybody has dark brain. No, I have something far more interesting planned. Their escape allowed me to settle legally in Mountain Fort and prepare everything for the next step. Your friend Alaric didn't tell you that I was it was I who threw out him the hand on the way of rescuing the prisoners? I don't understand. There's a time for everything, my dear. Why do I think this lady is the lady in the gold cloak, even though it doesn't make sense? Okay, why do you need these emulsions? The emulsions were prepared the bodies of the mountain fort soldiers for transformation. What transformation? It will begin with a small injection of emulsion, disguised as a remedy for diarrhea. Okay. There will be a few weeks of invisible mutations, then a few hours of torment, then oblivion, silent death. And then I shall revive them as obedient and nearly invulnerable undead servants. Basically something like we have. Far more powerful and common than common zombies. And without that nasty smell. Almost. Ghouls. Ghouls? Ghouls don't exist. Everyone knows that. You're right, however, your old friend Clotho found a way to make the fantasy a reality. Ancient curse, huh? She came up with a ritual for raising ghouls. I got a scroll, already used it a couple of times. And the results surpass all expectations. Hey, I thought your reputation is to remain pure. Oh. Uh, okay, what do you need ghouls for? What the hell are you doing with all this stuff? Let me guess, it was you who sent those monsters to kill me. Let's go with the first one. This all sounds crazy. It's so typical of people, Keeper. If there's something they don't understand, they call it crazy. But it's too soon to reveal everything yet. Wait a little while and your curiosity will be more than satisfied. Okay, so let me guess it was you who sent the monsters to kill me. And why would you say that? It was you. Thanks to your stink spell, you knew the whole time where I was and what I was doing. Not bad, but don't worry. The aroma you hate so much will dissipate soon enough. And it was your fault the magic that Alaric used on Clotho didn't work. A few drops of jasmine juice and Alaric's final chance to stop the ancient curse was lost. Bingo, my dear. Damn, this lady is 50 shades of messed up. However, thank, to, thank you for your investigation. It was amusing to say the least, observing your meaningless efforts. What if I refuse to make these emulsions? That would be most unpleasant, 
you change from a potential partner to an unwanted witness. So I will be obliged to dispose of you in a most drastic manner. And then I will use the dark brains of your refugee friends after the Lord's people kill them. You see, I'll get what I need either way, but you're still able to save some lives. It's time for you to choose, Keeper. I grow tired and the morning draws near. Now, I actually looked into the achievements because it still keeps showing on Steam, especially that like 0.2% of people have certain achievements, which seems kind of impossible based on the screenshots which I keep seeing on the community. And I think one of the achievements is to refuse Lady Be Beatrice. So I want to try your plans are monstrous. Don't count on my help. And I think there are some funny achievements like even back in the day when you are talking with the Inquisitor and he asks about the dark magic. There is an achievement where you can actually give up Gary saying that you have a talking skull, but the Inquisitor will not believe you. So yeah, there there are like some hidden achievements. I'm not really sure what happens if I go with disagreeing with her. If she's gonna like kill me, then there's gonna be like some story or something which will show us what happens and then we're gonna get back to this point where i will have to make those emulsions so let's go with the second option are you sure thanks to your ridiculous pride far more people will suffer including you moment of truth maybe she's right and she'll get her way in any case but maybe i'll manage to interfere with her some way I agree, I refuse, don't hold your breath waiting for my help. It was a pleasure to meet you, Keeper. I'll remember you as you are now. Because for the rest of your life, you'll live with the appearance of the most disgusting creature ever. Hey, how did she get my selfie? A skunk. Come on, skunks are cute. This is bad. It's really bad. If she does it, I'll remain a skunk forever. Can't, can't you use something? Wait a second. That's an awful idea. No, so exactly. Awful for you. No, awful for you too. Your magic could be dispelled by someone. But if you killed me and threw my body into the water, everyone would figure I drowned while I was fishing. Nobody would suspect you. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. It could even be an opportunity to frame that nosy twerp Coco. Everyone would be better off with that stinky hunchback rotting in prison. Yes, I like it. Bye bye, my dear. You have died. So if I have died, I should respawn back at home. Good. No smell. 
By throwing me into the water, she destroyed her own spell. Aw, no achievement. Now I just have to expose Beatrice. I'll tell the Lord Commander everything. Okay, I'm interested how I get to the mountain fort. It might be difficult to convince him he likes her. But Kuko hates her. Maybe he can help me with this. No achievement? Seriously? Come on! This kind of complicates everything because I did a playthrough or in the base game where I did something which was related to uh, the graveyard in the middle of the wheat field where there were two options how you want to approach this. So I'm not really sure if I would quit the game now replay a certain segment and go and agree with her what would be the outcome then this is why i hate the graveyard keeper saving system you have a saved file and you can only save it in one slot you cannot save the same file into like two slots so you can have the multiple options displayed because if I would want to go with disagreeing then I would want to show you what happens if I agree to make those damn potions and then I would want to return to the original state that would mean I would have to replay the same segment three freaking times I really don't know what to do here if I go into the bed the whole damn thing is screwed Oh, son of a biscuit. Why does this have to happen? Seriously. Let's go see if we can talk to Coco and uh, I really would love to show you the other way. That that's the problem. If I don't save and I replay the segment, and I go and agree with Lady Beatrice, I'm not really sure what will be the outcome for the rest of the game, for example. It will be hard to persuade him, I don't have any evidence. Coco, I have some extremely important information for you and the Lord Commander. Lady Beatrice is planning to inject all these soldiers of Mountain Fort with a dead emotion. And after that, she's going to revive them all as ghouls. Why aren't you saying anything? I'm trying to figure out whether you're drunk or you're off your nut. Dude, she's a nasty bitch. I can't argue with that. But ghouls? Man, couldn't you think of anything more realistic? Ghouls don't exist. Yes, everyone says so, but I'm not lying. You're all in great danger. Listen, I don't have time for stupid jokes. We're getting ready for battle. And I need to care that and I need to care that the boss doesn't notice that half the weaponry has vanished. So buy something or shove off. <laughs> Where the hell did half of their gear go? Wait, there's one piece of evidence. Beatrice owns a scroll of ghoul raising. sees the scroll, then he'll believe me. I need to talk to him again.
okay? Ask him to steal the scroll. Cool, cool. You'll find a scroll of ghoul raising amongst Beatrice stuff, and then you'll know I'm telling the truth. Mm, let me get this straight. You're saying I should search through the Inquisitor's stuff. Is that it? You idiot! Don't quarter me! The Lord Commander will protect you. Protect me? That old fool has one thought in his head all day. Serenading his lovely Beatrice. He'd rather send half of his soldier into the bonfire than quarrel with her. If you won't help me, I'll handle this on my own, call the Lord Commander. You're right, forget everything I told you, it was just a bad joke. It's in your best interest to help me, Kuko. Lady Beatrice had plans related to you. Let's go with the third option. Seems most reasonable. To me? What plans? She said your death would be an opportunity to frame that nosy twerp Kuko. Everyone would be better off with you. that stinky hunchback rotting in prison. Ah, she's the only one who calls me nosy twerp, and she thinks she can frame me? So you believe me now? This, this changes nothing. It's certain death to go against her. I see, that's too bad, goodbye. Maybe... Three gold? Are you nuts? Maybe three gold will help you change your mind and I'll accept the blame if anything goes wrong. Yeah. Hmm, three gold. God damn it. Seriously? Exactly. You can tell them I threatened you or something. Yeah. Do you see it? Gold. Beautiful, sparkling gold. Wait a bit and I'll bring you your gold. Yeah. Tomorrow now, night, I'll be here with the scroll, if it exists. Okay, so we managed to cover quite a lot and yes, as you guessed it, this is where I'm gonna cut off the episode. I'm really sorry that I'm not gonna be showcasing what would happen if... I would actually agree with Lady Beatrice. I really thought that by disagreeing with her, I would get that freaking achievement. Maybe the game is stuck with the 1.305 version of the game. I kind of noticed few changes, like when I go to the well and I try to just keep extracting water after 500, it now stops before it was, I think, working. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened. Even one of the original patches for the game after the Stranger Sins DLC, or damn it, the, the Game of Chrome DLC has been released. Uh, there were some changes, some patches, and I got like eight achievements in one day or something, so it was super weird. So, yeah. But anyhow, this is where I'm gonna cut off the episode. It's been a lot of fun covering this stuff. I do apologize if the reading was a little crappy, but I was doing this late in the evening after work and God knows what else. I was like up at 6 a.m. and I had to go to the shop with my dad and do some stuff and get some stuff. So yeah, I've, I've been up all day. This was like the only chance I had to record this. I'm not even sure when this episode will be published for the channel. But hopefully you are continuing to enjoy the content. It's been a whole lot of fun getting to know all of you. Thank you for all the tips. Thank you for all the support once again. For more fun content, consider checking out the channel. Link is in the description. 
I publish content on a weekly base. Currently, I'm kind of grinding through the Graveyard Keeper. Then I will return back to like normal upload schedule. I do all sorts of things from playthroughs to discussions to early in-game reviews to tips and tricks videos to god knows what else I'm planning to eventually do. So consider subscribing and I will see you in the comments or at the next one. Thank you for watching, stay safe, have fun and bye bye.